Hey everybody and welcome to the End Channel video blog. And today what I want to rant about is taking apart electronics. And why I'm calling this is Confessions of a Junkie is I'm totally an electronics junkie. And I'm just right now hacking an old stereo. It's an old tube amp. And for a just a a driver for my actual guitar amp. And I'm very impressed by the sounds of this and it's very interesting. It was made in an era without PCBs. So everything's just like hard mounted onto the chassis and it's very unique. And the reason why I actually think taking apart electronics is a very important thing is real life application. Like last week at school in AutoCAD class we were given this drawing. And most of the class could not transcribe this to an actual diagram that looks, I know this isn't the diagram itself, but you know, into an actual electronic circuit with the right symbols. And it was very unique because everyone was coming over to me and like, oh, you know, what's this? And I said, you know, this is an inline fuse. And people were like, how do you know that? And my only response is, I've taken them apart. And everyone was really impressed by that. And to me, it was not a big deal because I do it all the time. And that's what I want to talk about. One of the best ways to learn about electronics is to actually be involved with electronics. A lot of guys in my class are just theory junkies and they can't do real life applications where me playing around with these things and actually hacking them to what I want them to do is a really great opportunity for me to learn. So it's one of those things I really want to stress that picking up pieces of junk and actually learning what they do instead of throwing them out and taking those parts is huge. So one of the reasons why I'm focusing on it this week is actually something I just bought last week. It's the Heiko FX888 and to be honest with you it's one of the greatest soldering stations I've ever worked with. Um, personally, before I only had um, you know, a wall one from uh, the Source or the Radio Shack, whatever you want to call it, and it was terrible. And the ones at school are just not well kept. I mean, every student abuses them, right? And so this is my first experience with a really nice functioning one, if you will. And I'm just really eager this week to start building and taking stuff apart, and I'm going to already salvaging parts because it's such a joy to work with. And I can already tell you, like, I've learned a lot. You know what I mean? Before, it was just... Uh, you know, dirty tips and stuff like that and bad solder joints and already I can see a huge improvement in my actual joints. And I just want to say that this is probably one of the few tools that are really going to push you in real life application. I mean, you can use the oscilloscope for almost anything. I actually use it to prove math to myself now. And it's a very unique tool in that sense. But this one actually just gives you like a real application. It just allows you to build circuits, take them apart, and I can't stress enough how much this tool can impact your learning curve in the fact that you can learn the practical. Anyways guys, thanks for watching and have yourselves a great day.